Hi, this is Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. I want to deal with a particular word. Webster and I had a conversation, and we need to address this, because a lot of you don't know what kind of person this is. Megalomaniac. A person who is obsessed with their own power. A person who suffers delusions of their own power and importance. If I put that in my words, I would say delusions of grandeur. Okay, now we're going to move on and we're going to go down because we're still on the same page. Narcissistic personality disorder. This article is about the psychiatric condition. For information about the trait, see narcissism, megalomania redirects here for other uses. Narcissist Personality Disorder, NPD, is a personality disorder in which there is a long-term pattern of abnormal behavior characterized by exaggerated feelings of self-importance an excessive need for admiration and a lack of understanding of others' feelings. Mm -hmm. People affected by it often spend a lot of time thinking about achieving power and success or about their appearance. They often take advantage of the people around them. Do they take advantage of you? Is there a narcissist in your back pocket, in your living room, in your bedroom? Ooh, uh-oh, listen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to repeat that. They often take advantage of the people around them. Do you feel taken advantage of? Mm. Sorry for the glasses, you guys. My eyes are tired from reading from the screen. The behavior typically begins by early adulthood and occurs across a variety of situations. The cause of narcissistic personality disorder is unknown. It is a personality disorder classified within cluster B by Diagnosis and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. Diagnosis is by a healthcare professional interviewing the person in question. The condition needs to be differentiated from mania and substance use disorder. Treatments have not been well studied. Therapy often difficult as people with this disorder frequently will not be, will consider themselves having a problem. About 1% of the people are believed to be affected at some point in their life. It appears to occur more often in males uh -huh, than females. No offense, you guys, but yeah, that's kind of true. Mm -hmm. The personality was first described in 1925 by Robert Welder, while the current name for the condition came in use in 1968. Now, I'm not going to keep going on that, but I'm telling, oh, wait, 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 no, you got to hear this. Signs and symptoms. This is your warning for people who think they have a lover, but they have something else, baby. I'm going to tell you, no, that ain't a lover. That's another. A whole nother ball game you really don't want to play with. Listen. Signs and symptoms. People with narcissistic personality disorder are characterized by their persistent grandiosity, excessive need for admiration, and a disdain and lack of empathy for others. You, you can't have empathy. You can't have any kind of love when you can beat down and beat down and beat down and beat down and think they're supposed to get up and serve you dinner with a smile and then part their legs and serve you dessert with a smile and make it sound like you're just wowing them when you just got through just about beating the daylights out of them. They're not supposed to cry. Oh, no, 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 you don't have time for that. You need them to get up and serve you now. Like they don't even matter. What's wrong with you? Okay, 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 I got it, I got it.
narcissistic? All right, let's move on. Hmm. These individuals often display arrogance, a sense of superiority, and a power-seeking behaviors. Narcissistic personality disorder is different from having a strong sense of self-confidence. People with NPD typically value themselves over others to the extent that they disregard the feelings and wishes of others and expect to be treated as superior regardless of their actual status or achievements. In addition, people with NPD may exhibit fragile egos. Let me put it in my words. You're insecure. You don't think you're anything, so you got to fake it and beat down somebody else so you can stand on top of them and make yourself look taller at their expense, of course. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's Pat. Back to Webster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see, where am I? Okay. In addition, people with NPD may exhibit fragile egos and inability to tolerate criticism and a tendency to belittle others in an attempt to validate their own superiority. What did I just say? Mm. Anyway, according to the DSM-5, individuals with NPD have most of all of the following symptoms, typically without commensurate qualities or accomplishments. Listen to this. Number one, grandiosity with expectations of superior treatment from others, fixated on fantasies of power, success, intelligence, attractiveness, whatever, let me add, sexiness, yeah, self-perception, self number three, of being unique, superior, and associated with high-status people and institutions, number four, needing constant admiration from others, number five, sense of entitlement, to special treatment and to obedience from others. You do what I say do when I say do it. Number six, exploitive of others to achieve personal gain. Unwilling to empathize with others' feelings, wishes, uh, let me add, besides needs, pain that you inflict. Okay, let me back down. Pat's two cents is over. Back to Webster. Number eight, intensive, excuse me, intensely envious of others. Didn't we just say what love was not? Envy is one of the main things. That is not love. You have anybody like this, baby, you better turn tail and run. Run while you got life in you to do it. Use your brain. Okay. Uh, whew. Intensive envy, excuse me, intensely envious of others and the belief that others are equally envious of them. Pompous and arrogant demeanor. NPD usually develops by adolescence or early adulthood. It is not uncommon for children and teens to display some traits similar to NPD, but these are typically, typically transient without transient without meeting full criteria for the diagnosis. Now, here's my word, excuse me, excuse me. Here's my word for a child that meets this. Bully, 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 bully. That's all they are. And when you grow up, you just turn out to be a grown bully. You don't love, you don't care about other people's feelings. You need deliverance. That is demonic. <sighs> Symptoms also generally impair an individual's ability to function at work, school, or in other important settings. According to the DSM-5, these traits must differ substantially from cultural norms in order to qualify as symptoms of NPD. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm not going to go any further because this thing goes on. Oh, 
I got to read this. Oh my goodness. No, I got to read it. I'm sorry. You guys have got to know what you're dealing with. As I'm scanning, I'm picking up words and I'm like, oh my goodness, I got to read it. Bear with me, please. People with MPD tend to exaggerate their skills and accomplishments as well as their level of int intimacy with people they consider to be high status. Their sense of superiority may cause them to monopolize conversations and to become impatient or disdainful when others talk about themselves. In the course of a conversation, they may purposefully or unknowingly disparage or dis disvalue the other person by overemphasizing their own success. When they are aware that their when they are aware that their statements have hurt someone else, they tend to react with contempt. To view it as a sign of weakness. When their own ego is wounded by a real or perceived criticism, their anger can be disproportionate to the situation. Pow! All right. But typically, their actions and responses are deliberate and calculated. Despite occasional flare-ups of insecurity, their self-image is primarily stable. To the extent that people are pathologically narcissistic, they can be controlling, let me read that, they can be controlling, blaming, hmm, self-absorbed, intolerant, of others' views, unaware of others' needs, the effects of their behavior on others, and insist, excuse me, unaware of others' needs. They are unaware of the effects of their behavior on others, and insist that others see them as they wish to be seen. Narcissistic individuals use various strategies to protect the self at the expense of others. They tend to, dis to devalue, derogate, derogate, you know, like with derogative statements, derogate, insult, hmm, blame others. And they often respond to threatening feedback with anger and hostility since the fragile ego, ego of individuals with MPD is hypersensitivity, hmm, to perceived criticism or defeat. They are prone to feelings of shame, humiliation, and worthlessness over minor and even imagined incidents. They usually mask these feelings from others with feigned humility, isolating socially, or they may react with outbursts of rage, defiance, or by seeking revenge. When was the last time a fist of outrage hit you in the face? The merging of the inflating self-concept and the actual self is seen in the inherent grandiosity of narcissistic personality disorder. Also inherent in, these, in this process are the defense mechanisms of denial, idealization, and devaluation. Whew, I've got to stop because this thing looks like it's going to go on and on and on. So, I'm going to, yeah, it is about over. Now, listen, Pat's two cents, and I'm done. Anybody you see that has those traits, baby, you better run. A sociopath cannot feel guilt. A sociopath cannot feel another one's pain. They don't care. And you think you can love them into caring? Wake up and smell the coffee. Run. Call it a day. While you are still alive.